Hello everyone, welcome to the Seminary to Dragons Health channel. I am Dr. Pietro Aparicio and today we will discuss an important issue addressing maternal health, maintaining momentum and building strategies to prevent stillbirth. Stillbirth is a state of premature loss of an infant during or after the process of childbirth. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention classify stillbirth into three stages, early, late, and term stillbirth, depending on the pregnancy time frame. Statistics by the World Health Organization, WHO, present the occurrence of a stillbirth every 60 seconds, as recorded in its estimates. Stillbirth has been associated with unhealthy eating habits, gestational complexity, smoking, substance use, and poor sleep hygiene, among other potential causes. Factors such as maternal sleep disorder, breathing, SDB, and sudden infant death syndrome have been correlated with an urgency to practice lifestyle modifications in maternal health. In addition, it becomes crucial to maintain a proper sleeping position and report prenatal complexities such as vaginal bleeding quickly to the healthcare provider. Stillbirth can also arise from placental dysfunction and underlying reproductive health issues. Reducing the risk factors such as diabetes, hypertension, infectious disease, and psychological issues are key for a healthier pregnancy. Healthcare professionals must screen and assess all pregnant patients on a regular basis to identify and promptly manage any risk factors and prevent stillbirth. The World Health Organization advocates the reduction of stillbirth as a global goal. To achieve this global target, it becomes necessary to implement interventions such as the Fatal Medicine Foundation screening algorithm. It allows healthcare professionals to determine demographic biomarkers for maternal health. Further, following the international clinical practice guidelines is crucial to improve the quality of maternal services. In conclusion, stillbirth should not be a common occurrence and action needs to be taken. Healthcare professionals must vigorously prescribe suitable prenatal care and regular visits to mothers. Further, healthcare providers must consider maternal health a top priority in a global health goal. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the upcoming video.